today's word is spifero. Spifero in Italian means a little breeze, but more than a little breeze, it practically means a gust. Italians have many words to describe wind and wind currents. There's a venticello. There are winds from the south that are Scirocco. Those are hot winds from Africa. In Trieste, the Bora comes from the north and it's cold. There are every imaginable type of wind, and this is because Italians, much more than certainly Americans, are sensitive to wind and breezes and cold. So when you go into restaurants in Italy, Often everything is closed tight because God forbid a little gust of wind, a little fresh air should come in and chill you. Italians wear scarves as I often do, not only if they're an opera singer like Pavarotti to protect the throat, but to protect against a spifero. Americans in contrast tend to like everything open. Americans have air conditioning, they have cold gusts they put lots of ice in their drinks. Italians don't put ice in their drinks. It's a fascinating difference in culture that the Italians think that if you have a slight chill from ice or from air, that will get you deathly ill. An American, if he or she is too hot, feels that they're suffering and they want cold bombardments of air. If you go into a movie theater in the United States, you could hang meat in there. Where do I stand on this? I stand on the side of fresh air, not conditioned air, but not everything closed up. When Italy had restaurants where smoking was loud, imagine the restaurants just filled with cigarette smoke and no fresh air. That's something an American didn't like. Why do I point this out? Because the Italian people and the American people have immense regard for one another. They tend to get along in most things but there are just a few little things where the peoples don't understand one another even now. And that's why I thought I would put a little bit of fresh air on the topic.